Hi, I'm Dana Sullivan. I'm with the Mustard Seed Shelter. Hi, I'm Jacinta Seals Henderson. I'm with Good Neighbors Mission of Saginaw. Um, we provide temporary food assistance, um, clothing room accessories where you can come and get shoes, clothing for yourself and for family. And we also have some household items which we give to citizens of Saginaw, um, which shows a need and um, we are here to help them um, to cover the need that they may have for, the, for that time. The <laughs> Mustard Seed Shelter is a homeless shelter for women and children. And we're across the street from Good Neighbors, so we have a working uh, relationship. The mustard seed we have right now, we have 11 women and about four babies. And we do the regular shelter kind of thing, providing uh, beds and food, and we hope a homey atmosphere for families. But we also help them get into housing. So. For example, this week we have three families moving into their own apartments. Food is very important in our organization because everybody who's at the shelter uh, needs to eat. And one of the things we like to do is introduce people who are sometimes used to fast food to some healthier kinds of ways to eat. And so some have never done green, they say to us, and we like to introduce them to salad other kinds of really healthy food and hope that the experience uh, gives them a new taste for eating better and feeding their children better. And also here at Good Neighbors Mission, um, we do food. It's probably one of our main entities here at Good Neighbors. Um, we provide non-perishable food, mainly um, some meats, but most of our food come in canned form and um, it is a very central part of Good Neighbors Mission, um, probably the main aspect of Good Neighbors Mission. Well, we're hoping to find out through doing the hydroponic units how much food we can grow, and we're hoping to get a sense of how we can make it more accessible to the local people. And we're, you know, we're just uh, hoping to find other ways to have even more people than just us. We don't want to keep it limited. We want the idea to expand so that many others are able to produce food at a very reasonable cost for themselves. Well, we've actually shown the system to many people, some clients that have actually come here to get help with food, um, some donors that have donated to good neighbors, donated food um, products, and they were just kind of blown away at, you know, wow, you guys are you know, going to the next level here. So the community seems to be really interested in, in what we're doing here, and they want to see the outcome of it. You know? So I believe it's, it's going to be great. The community is going to just catch on to this really quickly. Houghton Jones, or Saginaw East Central Neighborhood Association, uh, was formed in the fall of 1992 as a tax-exempt nonprofit organization. Um, whose purpose is uh, neighborhood improvement and um, uh, seeks to empower residents to create positive change in their neighborhood and um, create a sense of unity and community and a sense of pride. Uh, the role of food has been increasingly uh, important uh, as we are seeing food prices uh, seemingly uh, skyrocket due to the uh, price of fuel and a lot of the things, uh, the energy crisis and the economic crisis, uh, people are seeming to uh, get back to the basics of uh, traditional gardening and uh, recipes, uh, sharing stories around food. So this past year, the role of food in our organization has, uh, has increased uh, as far as providing access to fresh fruits and vegetables uh, for young people, for children and families in our community, and uh, gardening, and uh, more, most recently, a uh, hydroponic system through our partnership with uh, Saginaw Valley State University. So uh, the role of food is increasing in our neighborhood, in our organization. We've had great reactions. Uh, it's kind of mixed with a sense of curiosity. Um, 
and uh, uh, a sense of um, of just just wanting to really see what it's about. There's uh, a peaked interest, I think. Uh, we've been able to get some great uh, exposure from the local media in regards to some of our, uh, our efforts. Um, they've been really excited about it, especially the young people. Um, it's definitely something that can serve to uh, increase uh, awareness and education about soilless gardening. So that's um, that's been exciting to be a part of that.